Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourself, as well as giving yourself peace and understanding. Um, it's a really beautiful thing, a real beautiful thing, when you can be able to embrace your, your gift, knowing that even though it had you discovered it in the midst of chaos, you can see it as a blessing as well so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you um been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even um with a fellow empath that is going through some things right now and need peace and understanding please go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving and giving me as well as my channel and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today i'm listening to uh this peaceful meditation is really making me feel like I'm I have a lot of loving vibes coming towards my way which I would love to share with y'all it's called spread love and happiness heart chakra healing activate and cleanse and I had a excuse me um chakra meditation I'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about when angels uh hail because when angels are walking among us through the midst of chaos i mean we got so many things going on i'm keeping my prayers up for the people in new zealand that had to go through that tragedy uh earlier this week or last week i can't remember it's just so many things that's going on um where we're trying to push out as much love and light as possible even though sometimes it might feel like we don't have enough to go around but it's just like a virus you know when it starts off with one it can make a difference even if it's just one person and it's just like today like i like i said on my last video i've been watching a lot of uh motivational videos you know things that i need to teach myself and i said you know i wanted to wake up and it was just like before i always lately i've been watching a lot of uh animation short scary stories i love those um and then all of a sudden a, a lot of different things i guess universe is like okay you watched that enough come on you i need you to get on to this so um it was a lot of different videos it's just you know bringing awareness to my mind as well as my heart educating me and it was just a beautiful thing so you know just being able to know that you know we can go through some really crazy stuff and you know your guardian angels are always there with you you know we can go through things and we're trying to learn a process of letting go we get we can become hard on ourselves because i've done it as well when we're not able to really let go of things that has really messed us up in our lives or really put us to the point where we have mental blockages up of certain things that that is tragically placed in our lives and you know you have to be a real badass for you to be able to go through these things and you know be a, being able to survive and you know usually we are we're the strongest soldiers this you know god has placed us in these lives we pick the things that we have went through just because we needed that that situation needed the most care the most attention and it's just like when we're going through these things we always have something that's reassuring us you know hey it's not gonna be bad days all the time or hey we only got to go through this a little bit longer you know even though it gets aggravating when you can hear that little voice in your head say just please be patient just wait a little bit longer i've been giving them side i'm like if you got one more time to tell me that but okay i'm listening to you but you got one more time to tell me that and i said Rosie, you better quit you getting bucked with the universe like that because you can get aggravated and I, I get bucked like that and i said lord please forgive me you know i'm just going through some stuff and i'm tired of going through it but then i have to look at things in a different perspective 
knowing, okay, these things are happening for a reason, but you're getting strength, you're getting love from places that you never thought you would be able to, you know, I'm gravitating towards more people that are kind hearted, even though we go through a lot of things, you know, um, you'll know when things are starting to shift for you because it's like I'm getting more positive reactions like uh, when I'm pushing out stuff that you know it's like positivity is coming back from the people um, which is a beautiful thing um, being able to know that you know I always wonder am I doing a good enough job am I doing you know enough um, I felt like you know why am I feeling this way to where I feel like I'm getting negative when I'm pushing out so much positivity but then you have to understand when you're on the brink of something very beautiful you will go through some crazy stuff you will see a lot of crazy things going on around us where they're bringing things to the forefront um, about different people you know children going through sexual harassment or sexual abuse you know from different people we would least expect it from or more people that you know are finally where they have done things in the dark it's starting to come to light and it's like for the world is putting on the world on display and it's just like so many crazy things and it's just like us as empaths we're doing our part you know there's so many of us are but the member of the 144, 144,000, you know, you're like the superhero. You don't like injustice. You like to have world peace. You get tired of hearing all the bad things. So it's just a lot of us are just waking up left and right, left and right, left and right. And it's like we have so much to do. We have so much work we have to have done to this world where it's like very chaotic, but we're pushing out as much love as we possibly can. You know, even though sometimes we can get emotionally and mentally drained, we still keep on going. We find a reason, even though there's a thousand, you know, there might be 10, 15 reasons for you to want to give up. There's a, like a thousand and one reasons for you not to. And it's like when we can have those angels come towards us and reassure us, you know, hey, you're doing a good job. You know, you might be going through a lot of hell right now, but you're doing a good job. And it's a beautiful feeling when I can wake up the next day and, you know, go throughout my day and see the comments that I get uh, from my different videos. It, it just, it humbles me a lot. You know, I feel grateful for having y'all in my life and I'm trying not to cry. Um, but it's a beautiful thing to know I'm doing my part, you know, um, being able to push out positivity even through the midst of my own chaos that I'm going through, you know, healing and trying to find that strength to just keep moving. And on days when I really just want to go bury myself in a corner and cry, you know, um, my dad's anniversary is coming up in a few weeks. And I'm just trying to be, you know, prepared for that. But, you know, I said, I try not to worry about it because that's, you know, in a few weeks, you know, I shouldn't worry about the future because you never know what the future holds you know everything can happen you know change in a blink of an eye within one day and so I just you know I ask God if I have to deal with this some more you know not knowing who's held responsible for my dad's death you know why isn't anybody you know held responsible for this or you know just blessings to come through um you know for this situation of my father you know I, I just pray on the strength of trying to get through that so it's like a day-by-day -day process but it, it's just like knowing you know everything is happening for a reason everything has to be a process that we all have to go through you know we're going through so much hell but we're pushing out so much positivity through all the things that we have went through you know people we can sit down with people and tell our life stories you know just look at us like how are you able to make it how are you able to get through that? And, you know, we, 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 it takes a day by day process to be able to get through the things you're getting through. And, you know, this world can be a very chaotic, hurtful, dark place, but it needs the most mending, you know, it needs the most healing. And a lot of us are being switched for us to be able to send that love out towards people um being able to go through the things you go through and still find a way to smile finding the way of trying to cheer people up when they're in their their darkest moments in a really dark place is a blessing being able to tell people even though you've been put through so much hell heaven still awaits you 
I said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> but, you know, going through these things is really humble me. Knowing I can be able to tell my story and say I'm going to make it, I'm not going to allow, you know, the things that has happened to me to hinder me and put me in a dark place. Because I really love what I do, be able to tell people, you know, we can be having, you know, you can be sitting in the most chaotic, darkest moments to where it can shock you to the point where you want to lose your mind on the things that has happened to you. But know that you can be able to get through it. Knowing you're going to be that blessing to somebody. You know, even though you might feel like, I'm not strong enough. I don't know if I can make it. You can. You have. You've done it before. But this is the time that they have really put you in a really bad place. For you to be able to change it into a positive situation. A positive impact. To be able to tell the world. I went through hell. And I came back out shining. You know, and it's a beautiful thing. So you keep going. Even on, through the midst of all this crazy chaos that's going on, know that you will make it. You will heal in places you never thought you would before. And you'll be okay. Okay. I'm going to have to talk to y'all in a minute because I, I, I'm, I'm getting really emotional. So much love to you. Peace be well.